Fame player himself, an NBA champion himself. Welcome now to the new head coach of the Dallas Mavericks, Jason Kidd. Yeah. Thank you, thank you, Rachel. So, so <laughs> glad to have you. And look, I want to talk all about the new job. I want you to tell some very, uh, I want you to tell all the stories, frankly, about Richard <laughs> Jefferson. But yeah, before please, we get to either one of those things, I do want to hit on what happened here in Milwaukee last night. This team won a championship. I know you poured your heart and soul into this franchise when you were here. Giannis gives you so much credit for how his career developed. I want you to take a listen to what he said about you last night. Jason Kidd that came to the team and pushed me, told me not, do not shoot, but okay. You know, I, I develop other parts in my game, you know, get into the rim, shoot the mid race shot, you know, just be dumb and get to the free throw line. So what was your reaction to that and seeing him win finals MVP? I, I'm just in awe um, because of his journey. When he first came here to the States uh, as a young man um, and the work that he's put in, um, I did tell him not to shoot early on, uh, but uh, as you can see, his game has expanded. He's just a great human being on and off the floor, and I was just lucky enough to be in his life early and uh, hopefully gave him some uh, foundation. Um, and you saw that, I thought, last night, just his composure. His work ethic is like no other, and uh, I'm happy for the city of Milwaukee. I'm happy for the owners, Mark Lazary, and I'm ha also happy for Chris Middleton. Um, because he was part of that journey early on. And so to see those two win a championship mm -hmm. is incredible. Again, dreams come true. Now, I, I know that Giannis is not lying because I remember at 21, you telling me not to shoot. Mm -hmm. Don't shoot, just drive, <laughs> just get to the free throw line. What are you doing, right? And, and but I can tell you, I, you. he's keeping it real and yeah. I listen to him. You listen to Jay Kidd, you're gonna, uh, you know, you're gonna be successful. But I wanted to ask you about Luca. You know, Luca is a very different player, very talented. You know, what is something that you feel that, that you know, you can help Luca improve on? Or is there an area of his game that you're like, when he adds this, it, it, it'll change everything for him? Well, Luca is a different player. Uh, when you look at someone who's 22 years old and what he's accomplished early on in his career uh, is amazing. Uh, I'm not gonna tell him not to shoot. He can shoot the ball. Uh, my job is to help <laughs> make the game easier. Uh, make the game easier for him. Um, understanding the game within the game. Um, understanding you know, how to get guys going. Uh, become a better leader. He's already a leader at 22, uh, but to help him with that leadership quality and um, again, help him in every aspect of the game to try to make it easy. Um, that's what we did with Giannis in Milwaukee. Um, and again, I won't tell him not to shoot um, like I did with you and, uh, and Giannis, <laughs> but I wanted you guys to be successful. I knew your strengths. And that was to get to the mm -hmm. basket or get to the mm -hmm. free throw line. And you made yeah. a lot of money doing that. And to keep working on the other parts. I made a lot of money. I made a lot of money with you, Jay Kidd. Well, I can't tell. But look, <laughs> look, Jay Kidd, first, look, your boy Big Perk, congratulations, man, on, on the new head coaching job. I wanted to tell you that first and foremost. But you Thank said you that Luca and Perzingas, Perzingas is a perfect fit with Luca, right? I want to ask you yeah. what makes them work well together, like in your eyes? Well, I think when you look at what they can do, they both have a skill set. Uh, they know how to put the ball in the basket. Um, when you look at KP, he can stretch the defense. His range is from half court. Um, also, I, I think getting KP back to what he did in New York, uh, being able to put the ball on the floor, one dribble, stop and pop, uh, being able to post mm -hmm. up, being able to turn around, be aggressive, um, being able to dunk. I remember a lot mm -hmm. of highlights when he was, you know, putting the ball on someone's head. And so getting him back to that that era of his <laughs> basketball where he was having fun. Absolutely. Well, look, you also have a new partner in the front office, Nico Harrison. What conversations have you guys had about how you want to build a team around Luca for next season and get more parts to make you guys real championship contenders? Well, when you talk about Nico, he, he knows all the players not just here in the United States, but throughout the whole yeah. world. He, he's, he was the head of Nike basketball. And so um, we're very lucky. I'm very lucky to have him as a teammate. Um, he wants to build a championship team. He knows how to build 
and how to build a winner. And so, uh, again, I think we're very lucky to have him uh, a part of our team. And uh, I can't wait to see what he does this summer. You know, this is an important summer for him, his first summer. And I know he's going to get the right pieces for us to compete for a championship. Now, Jay, I had the pleasure of being with the Dallas Mavericks for one season. And, and you know, look, Mark Cuban, who I think is probably the best owner in all of sports, uh, one of the funnier ones, one of the more uh, colorful ones. What's it like to now go back and, you know, you've been there as a player, but to now work with him as a head coach? Are you excited about working with Cubes? I'm excited. Uh, again, you brought up being here to win a championship with Cube. I believe he's one of the, if not the best owner in sports. Um, again, he shoots straight. He lets you know where you stand. And now to be a head coach, I know he's going to have ideas and probably plays for me to, to, to run. So I'm excited to see if those plays work. And if they don't work, <laughs> I'll, take the, I'll, take the, I'll take the blame. Yeah. Well, before we let you go, you know that we play a game here on The Jump called What Were You Thinking? We played it with you before, Jason, but this time is a special edition because we've got you and Richard here together. So this is What Were You Thinking, Jason Kidd, with Richard edition. These are only plays with Richard. So first off, I have to ask, what were you thinking when you had eyes in the back of your head on this crazy pass to Richard you're about to see? Oh, oh yeah. Oh. I was just hoping See, that he was going to keep the reason running. why I didn't rebound. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> because he was hoping that I was going to let He's like, Richard, just run. Just run. run. run out of Don't do arena? anything. Don't do anything. Just run, and I'll get you the so ball. You really start losing your hair that dead early? Yeah, no, I was losing my hair that early. You know, I want to be like J.K. I had I had little, J.K. I used to do that hair. one against the grain. <laughs> Yeah, Aww. Yeah. Aww. Yeah, so. Now that one, you were nice enough to set him up properly. But in this one, Jason, what were you thinking, please, when you just completely ignored Richard <laughs> to pop the ball to Vince Carter instead? Take a look at this one. Oh, yeah. My days were oh. numbered. <laughs> Rick, Rick. Look at that. <laughs> I think Vince just took me to dinner the night before. Look, he's so right there. I he's caught. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. Uh, That's it. Look, my hands are ready. Hey, stay ready. Stay, stay, stay ready. ready. That's was one ready. thing you don't know, Jay Kidd, is stay ready. Yeah, Richard don't worry. Look, that, that's what it was. We we had those wings running. Yes. <laughs> great, great decoy. decoy. Thanks, Aww. <laughs> Look me, at that. That's a team. I, 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 let, let me say this to everybody. Jay Kidd is number two all time in assist. Mm -hmm. He's got more assists to me than anybody else in his career. Aww. Fun fact. Yeah, <laughs> yes. Oh, Might that. be a fact, and it's kind of fun for me. <laughs> great honor, Richard, the honor. That's a Hall of Famer calling you a great decoy. Analytics. It <laughs> no, is an honor no. for him. It's on that side. A great finisher. As an as assist. Oh, 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 my bad. My bad. My bad. <laughs> All right, so last one, Jace. I have to ask you, what were you thinking when you as an opponent of Richard's set him up to take a clear path foul? Uh-oh, what is this nonsense? Uh -oh. Where do you guys find this stuff? Oh, oh, my acting skills were bad. I flopped. I flopped. <laughs> see, see, yeah, he flopped. See, everybody want to get on Chris Paul for doing this. This is and Trey Young. Everybody want to get on Trey Young and Chris Paul. This is Jay Kidd, one of the legends doing this. Like, come on, man. Setting a bad example for the kids, Jay. I'm Jason, sorry. I expect some I of this film to show up in your coaching tapes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I expect some of this film to show up in your coaching tapes over the next season. We're really happy for you and Nico and the whole crew over there. We can't wait to see what you guys do next. We'll see you at the draft, Jason Kidd. Thank you, guys. Thank